So a CNN reporter showed up to a QAnon rally for educational purposes, I am assuming, and we are going to watch to see uh, what happened because I think that this new group, as it gains prominence, is something that we all should focus on because, like, I don't know what happens in this video because I haven't seen it yet, but what I do know is that based on, like, other videos where reporters have gone to QAnon events, they are absolutely unhinged and deranged and the line between reality and um delusions is it's obscured like these people are unhinged and i know that there is multiple branches to qanon to an extent uh but most of them believe that donald trump of all people who have been who has been accused of sexual assault by multiple women apparently he is the one who's finally cracking down on all of these covert pedophile rings that exist in hollywood and washington dc and it's only the Democrats, who are pedophiles, apparently, no Republicans, um, even though Donald Trump was friends with Jeffrey Epstein, according to these people, he's the savior. Now, what's interesting, before we watch the video, um, as the insider reports here, QAnon followers say Trump is a savior for trafficked children, but the Justice Department has gone after fewer cases on his watch. So, even if Donald Trump was cracking down on pedophilia and child sex trafficking at a higher rate, you know, that wouldn't be enough evidence to suggest that he is, like, the savior here. Uh, but even, like, the bare minimum that you'd hope to confirm this conspiracy theory is not there. It's not accurate. Um, according to believers of the QAnon conspiracy theory, President Donald Trump is the country's savior from liberal elites who are kidnapping children and running secret sex trafficking uh, rings. But data shows that federal sex trafficking prosecutions have actually decreased since Trump took office. According to the Human Trafficking Institute's 2019 federal report, which was released in May 2020, 73 new federal criminal cases involving the sex trafficking of children only were prosecuted last year compared to 87 in 2018 and 124 in 2017, Trump's first year in office. Experts say QAnon believers are latching on to misinformation to boost their cause, but ignore evidence-based solutions to the issue. So, I mean, like, prosecutions for these cases have de decreased over the years, but, like, it seems as if the way that they frame this, we're about to see, like, the logical conclusion to all of this, and Donald Trump is going to finally crack down on all of them, and, you know, masks will come off, and everyone will be exposed. It just these people are batshit insane. So we're gonna watch, and um, I'll I'll share my thoughts as we we see this. Pain is coming. The fact that you guys are attacking us and making us look like we're crazy when we're just trying to save some fucking children pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, already. If you want, <laughs> I have to comment on this, if you want people to think that you're not crazy, then you have to, at a minimum, at least while the cameras are on, not act crazy. Like, that guy, probably shitting himself. Like, this lady is scary. Like, how could you not be afraid? Um, That's just, that's terrifying. I don't care who you are. That's just scary. When people, like, start acting like that, where they have to convince you that they're not fucking crazy, like, they're probably crazy. I'm sorry. We're just trying to save some children pisses me off we're just trying to save some fucking children um so don't get in our way okay the real pandemic is child you trafficking seen people sharing the hashtag save, save the, children the children or save our children Hang on. over the past few the hashtag that they're using is really interesting because these are all donald trump supporters they've all drank in the kool-aid uh drank the kool-aid they're all maga chuds but it's interesting because Donald Trump, the president who they worship, is bombing children in the Middle East and North Africa. His first raid that he greenlit in Yemen led to the death of, what was it, a six, seven-year-old, Nawar al-Awlaki? And when it comes to healthcare, what is Trump doing? We had to fight Republicans to get them to renew the children's health insurance program. Dreamers. I mean, everything that Trump has said, his entire ideology, openly has been fuck them kids and yet they're saying save the children and they think that trump is a savior like this mindset is so weird like these people do not live in reality they've made up their own reality like the world that they fabricated is not one that we're all living in and they're living in their own like little bubble 
and it's super culty. Like, this is a cult within a cult because you have Donald Trump supporters who are definitely a cult, like the diehards. And then within that cult, you have people who are even further entrenched in this weird cult bubble. Like, Trump has really brought out, like, the craziest elements in American society. It, it's just, I don't know if they've always, I'm sure they've always been there, but are just, like, more vocal now. But this is just bizarre. It's on social media. But much of this online activity has nothing to do with the respected and real Save the Children charity, which has been around for more mm, than 100 so they years. It. Its name, Save the Children, has been hijacked by followers of the mm. QAnon conspiracy theory. In a statement, the charity has emphasized they have nothing don't to tread do on me. with this movement. I love how people with that um, don't tread on me flag, they basically are against big government, that vague notion. But really what they're asking for is, you know, not for big government to tread on us, but for large multinational corporations to tread on us. If, if I were an alien that landed down from Mars, how would you explain to me what QAnon is? So QAnon is just a way for Trump supporters to look at what Trump is doing and say, this doesn't match what I want. I thought he was gonna kick out literally every illegal immigrant. I thought he was gonna lock her up. So basically like, it's cognitive dissonance. Is that what it is? A way that they've convinced themselves that Trump is still good? I guess that explains it, that's interesting. That stuff's not happening, why? They view it as, okay, Trump won the election, but Trump's not in control of the government. Actually, the deep state is. Yeah, I'm supposed to be the dragon and the cute butterfly there, about to get eaten, hopefully. <laughs> okay, I just have to comment. That dog is so adorable. Um, What a good boy, just sitting there, not barking, just like chilling. The website that helped spread QAnon and Pizzagate. He left the site a few years oh, ago. Oh, so Pizzagate is connected, us. of course. So Save More the lunacy. Children is, is sort of a, a gateway, a soft front into QAnon. Correct, yes. Because I've spoken to people That's who interesting. Organize... That's really interesting because, like, if you just say Save the Children and you vocalize how you're against human sex trafficking and, you know, uh, pedophilia, nobody's going to disagree with that. So if somebody, like, buys into that very obvious premise, every reasonable person wants to save children and is against pedophilia, you can see how they get, like, roped in. Like, this guy is really explaining how people are getting duped. Well-meaning people who want to protect children, rightfully so, are getting, you know, um, conned to believe this. It's This is interesting. And they're adamant. They say, I'm not a QAnon believer. That's ridiculous. I mean... Just go to the event, right, and talk to people there and see what they believe in. So you're a QAnon follower? 100%. Got it. Talk about it. Why aren't you talking about it? Why are we not talking about all the kids that are going missing? Why? That makes me question you. You're on camera right now, my dude. Talk about it. <laughs> this dude has a survivor buff. That's interesting. Scotty the Kid, a singer and activist, has been organizing Scotty these the Kid, I've never heard of him. Much like how they've co-opted the name Save the Children, they have also seized on and are distracting from the very real and serious issue of missing and exploited children. Much of their focus instead is on conspiracy theories about Hollywood stars and Democrats. So there's no Republicans? Like, I want them to be asked, how do you reconcile the fact that the savior of children was friends with Jeffrey Epstein, who had a literal island that he raped children on. Like, how how do they, like, not think that Donald Trump is part of the problem? It's just such a weird, bizarre way to look at the world. Like, I don't, I don't get it. It's like, do they just pretend like that's fake and Trump was never friends with Jeffrey Epstein? Like, they need to, they need to explain this. Do you, um, do you follow QAnon? The FBI says it's a dangerous conspiracy theory. Do I follow? No, I don't follow. I don't know what... It looks like you drank, like, a ton of Kool-Aid and were, like, super sloppy. I don't know if you think that's effective, but you look kind of stupid right now. You know, I follow the missing children. I have a child right now in Ohio that my team is saving. That's what I want to talk about. But Not a conspiracy. You posted, about Q no you posted about QAnon yesterday, right? On your Instagram uh, story? <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, bitch! bitch. 
So your mom watches CNN? Yes. So if your mom watches CNN, she's probably seen people like me on TV saying Pizzagate's a conspiracy theory. Mm. You don't believe it's a conspiracy theory? No, it's definitely not. Pizza <laughs> no. is a code word for child pornography. Cheese pizza, child pornography. And they believe that. Known... They... Wait. Cheese pizza? <laughs> Wait, because... C P L. <laughs> They're nuts. Uh, okay, well, can't you apply that to Donald Trump? Donald Trump, D P, definitely pedophile. Gotcha, bitch. That's not evidence. Oh, Jesus Christ. I believe Hillary Clinton is a pedophile. They believe almost every high Democrat is a pedophile. Podesta, all of them. It's crazy. What's going on with Tom Hanks? <laughs> There's a lot of people who are pedophiles. Beyonce Knowles is a pedophile as well. Wow. So basically everyone in Hollywood is a pedophile. Like all of them are pedophiles. Interesting. Sure, Jan. Pedo would. Interesting. They literally just believe that like everyone who's a Democrat is a pedophile. If they're in Hollywood, but they're like conservatives, uh, like Kevin Sorbo, who's a conservative, I guess he's not a pedophile. This shit doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, even for conspiracy theory, I, I get how people get roped into it because it's based off of, like, a real issue. Um, so they get roped into it. But then all they do is make these really huge assumptions about other people with zero evidence. Like, the jumps that they make, there's not enough evidence to go from point A to point B. So, like, they start at an issue that's serious and then they very easily cross over into fucking Cuckooville. And it's just, it, how did they make that jump? That's one thing that I still don't understand. Because like, oh, cheese, pizza, child, por pornography. Like, that's not enough evidence. How is that persuasive to you? You could literally take any fucking acronym and make it into something nefarious. But that's not evidence. So you guys just want me to explain everything today, huh? Yeah, Dude, bitch, you're there. Suspicion. That's that's suspicion. How do you know that Tom Hanks says How do you not know? <laughs> Why can't you prove a negative? Fucking fake news. Prove a negative. Prove that Tom Hanks isn't a pedophile. You can't. Gotcha. Prove a negative. non fact. Because you, do you don't know the information, you're saying it's but a neither, fact that they're not. But neither do you. We're in an impasse then, because we're reporting literally the same thing. But neither do you. But you have him on your sign. You're calling him a pedophile. Yes. But you don't. Prove that you're not a pedophile. How do we know that you're not like a fucking plant from the deep state? How do they get to that position of power? Save the children is a good message. Everyone wants to save the children. So they were putting this veneer of legitimacy on the Q stuff and the idea that there's a deep state cabal. Going online and doing these kind of performative demonstrations where your real target is political, not any actual abuse, you know, you're not helping any child by doing that. Children going missing, those numbers, they're out there. They're legit. I guess the disconnect that I see, and I think maybe your mom might agree with me, <laughs> she's watching this on CNN, is that, you know, this is a real problem, but then there's all this stuff online that seems, as your mom might say, a bit crazy. Well, what we're saying is crazy is the Satanists who are hurting children. Not the Satanists. Okay, I was curious because... Like, I know that there are parts of uh, QAnon that believe that these aren't just pedophiles, like they're Satanists. Um, but on top of, like, being pedophiles, they drink the blood of children. And I don't know, like, if that's all QAnon people, but certainly a large portion of them believe that. It's just batshit fucking insane. The people who are trying to expose it and save us. Uh, yeah, so that was about what I expected. Um, there's just, there's no evidence. They take an actual issue and they extrapolate. You know, they uh, bring up these inferences and implications and they think, well, this is a real issue. So Tom Hanks is probably a pedophile. Like <laughs> they make a lot of logical leaps that they don't have evidence for and it just comes off as very weird. I kind of want to check out some of these comments just to see what people are saying. So absolutely no evidence uh, people are saying. Donald Trump, yeah, that's true. Many people are saying. Uh, and what 
if what QAnon is saying is true, why do they get so angry whenever someone questions them about it? They don't want to be challenged on it. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Uh, imagine being in your history lesson back at school. Teacher, Michael, who started the Second Civil War. Uh, Michael, Char uh, Charlie Wonka, prove me he prove to me that he did not. Yeah, I mean, people, thankfully, seem pretty reasonable in the comment section, which is something that you don't usually see from YouTube. It's usually nothing but, like, toxic uh, bullshit. But, yeah, I mean, this is scary only because, like, it's no longer this fringe element of society. Like, it's growing and it's becoming more prominent. And now we actually have people who will be members of Congress who are part of this, I don't know what you want to call it, a movement? Marjorie Taylor Greene. So it's sad because like Americans and humanity in general, we have access to more information than ever before at our fingertips with our phones. And yet we buy into more bullshit rather than seeking out new information. We find like these weird conspiracies to latch onto because they give our lives meaning or something. It's just, it's sad. It's really sad. And I wonder what will happen to the QAnon group once Donald Trump is out of power. It's interesting. Um, We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Mike is the worst progressive on YouTube. Please don't subscribe to him or become a patron. David Dole is so much better. Trust me, folks. He's doing a great job. He really is. Okay? <laughs>